So over the years, I've wondered what different formats would be best for the board game industry as far as gathering news, interviews, and walkthroughs. And some have told me websites like everythingboardgames.com and the Giveaway Geek, where they either give you things or they're going to do reviews or they do news of some sort, and as well as interviews. And then there's also YouTube, which is what I do for the most part. And you're going to be doing stuff like reviews and interviews and walkthroughs and playthroughs, and it's all in video form. We have live streams and we also have things like Zoom and Discord. Discord, which are good for things like virtual cons. Interestingly enough, I just ran into something that I think is another great format for information, and probably, in my opinion, one of the best. Now, this is a sponsored video, so go ahead and take or leave what I have to say, but my opinions are my own, and I truly do believe what I am saying. Everything Board Games Magazine is currently on Kickstarter, and this thing is phenomenal. I heard about it through a friend, and I have been sharing about it ever since. The magazine has interviews lined up in it, full image pictures, you're going to have different interviews as well as reviews from Everything Board Games and others, and then you actually even get storyline. So for instance, in the magazine there talks about the uh, game Hell from Mythic Games, in which Helena goes into detail explaining the lore of the game. You'll also get things like print and plays, which are excellent at the very back of or bottom of the magazine, you're going to be getting free things. Now, to mention about all this thing in the magazine is it is funded and it is free, regardless of whether you're going to choose to back it or not. So the question comes down to why should you back it? And hopefully in this video, I'm going to discuss a little bit of the reasons as to why I think you should promote this. Because for now, it is funded and it's going to run for, I think about 12 months. It's one issue every two months for the next 12 months. And if you're interested in keeping this magazine going like I am as a backer myself, I strongly encourage you to listen to what I have to say. The magazine not only includes story and artwork, but it'll also include full interviews. And these interviews are clickable, which means that it's not going to take a huge amount of space on the magazine. There's little, little spots, just because it is all virtual, where you can click on it and you can go ahead and get transferred to the location where it will be at. And that, I think, is really, really cool about the magazine. I think it's really cool in general, because you can promote anything on this magazine that's going to be good for the board gaming community, which won't take up too much space, and gives people a lot to look at and see what are the newest games that are coming out what type of artwork do they have is there storyline based in this game and how much and can I look at it and how do I look at it and without having to scroll and scroll and scroll if you're not interested you can simply click the button in the small area on the page and bam you're gonna be transported to an area where you can see the game and see the stories and learn about what you want to learn about are you interested in family games like Gridopolis well then there is a place in the magazine for you as well you can simply go ahead and click on that space in the magazine it will transport you there and you can read about it now of course the magazine is formatted like a magazine you'll be clicking and moving and moving pages and whatnot but because of the ability of links the ability of little spaces where you can click and transport yourself and of course you can decide where and how you want to go being transported is a nice little thing it's very nifty and in fact in my opinion it's better than a basic magazine because you're saving trees you're saving product and quality and all that it's on your pc screen and that's or on on your phone and that's where you're going to be getting a lot of your content for board game these days anyway uh, so I strongly suggest taking a look at just that on its own but if that's not enough there's also how to's and there's giveaways in the magazine so if you're interested in learning how to do something maybe it's making terrain for a board game because you're a Warhammer 40k player you can go over to that section and take a look at that or perhaps you're interested in the latest giveaway of the latest games I know that my site as well as everything board games and the Giveaway Geek all give away a ton of games, and there's gonna be links in the magazine, not to my site, but to those sites to allow you to pick up those giveaways. I've won games personally myself before I entered uh, into doing giveaways and any of that kind of stuff on those sites, and they are respectable, they do a great job of doing giveaways and transferring them to you, and I have always supported them as far as that goes, because I think it's a great way to get people to see new games, as well as get games that maybe they couldn't afford in general. And if that's not enough for you attempting to win free games, how about they just give you a free game? Because there's a PNP at the bottom of the magazine. Now I don't know if it's going to be in every single magazine, but there's at least one in here. I think it's called Bowl Rally, and you're able to literally have the print and play at the very bottom, so you can go ahead and choose to cut it out and play it, which is just more value for you. A free magazine with print and plays, interviews, reviews, how-tos, and more? 
that's really solid. Supporting this magazine is something that I find to be a very important thing because yes, there are virtual cons right now and there's other little things that are going on, but eventually that's all going to die out when it comes back to going to normal cons. And this is something that's going to last the test of time. It's something that I think should continue to push through in this industry and people should support this because it's a great way where we can condense content that is new and interesting and things that we can provide people for free that everybody can go on and take a look at and scroll through and find what works for them best. So if you're a fan and you're not a media person or a publisher or somebody that's going to be designing games, you can support this magazine and keep it going. And if you do so, it's going to put, they're going to put your name, immortalize you in the magazine in some way. And I guess it might be in every issue or I don't know how exactly they're going to do it. You can check out the campaign and see how you can support this project because your support was going to weigh a long way into having more of these come out for anybody to read. Anybody will have the opportunity to go ahead and check out this magazine. It's totally free. So the support it's all on you if you want this to continue and as I went through this magazine and saw because I was skeptical at first I went down scrolled through and I was just like holy hell this is an excellent magazine it's well made it's it, the graphic design is excellent I want that graphic designer for my site that's how much I like this magazine and seeing how well it's put together the different areas in which you can scroll down and go to the content that you want looks and feels exactly like a magazine you get at a store so I strongly encourage you to go ahead and back this even if you're just somebody that's interested in reading it on the free side if you're a publisher or if you're a media person or if you're a designer there's also ads that you can go ahead and purchase. Now that's the one thing that people might go, uh, but it's a free magazine, right? You can scroll past it. And if you're interested, you can go ahead and check it out because in a lot of cases, a lot of this stuff already is ad rolls anyway, or something that's going to entice you to get the game. So usually that content is going to look and feel good and give you some information about the newest games out there. But you guys, like me, can go ahead and purchase a spot. So maybe I might purchase a spot for Callie's Corner, our videos, and put it on the magazine, which is also stuff that I think will be good for the board gaming community. It's something like board game design and talks about how to write rule books and whatnot. So it's more stuff that will help me and help you guys, which I hope is what a lot of people utilize this for. But yeah, you can purchase ad spaces, you can purchase small full pages, full small areas, and all kinds of stuff that will keep this magazine going and hopefully continue to grow because I think this is a great looking quality magazine. It's something I wanted to see for a long time and I'm very glad that somebody went ahead and did it. I urge you to go ahead and take a look at the magazine and if you're interested and you want to pick it up, go ahead. But if you're not too sure about wanting to support it right now, you don't have to, okay? It's coming down to the last here, the end of the wire. But if you want, watch the, read the first you know, issue and you know, whatever. And if there's a backer pledge or something like that, you can go ahead and take a look at and support because you find it useful to you because you think there is value in it. Then I suggest you go ahead and do so. Or maybe even next campaign because you saw the value that you obtained from the magazine. So if anything, this is just my encouragement not to actually necessarily go ahead and back it like I did, but at least take a look at it and see if it's something that you'd be interested in for your family, for your friends, and of course your kids, because there's certain sections for everybody in this magazine. I don't know, am I overhyping this thing? <laughs> you guys let me know down below in the comment section. Tell me what you guys think. And if you're interested in backing it, please let me know that you did so. Post it on Facebook, if nothing else, to let people know that it's out there so people can check it out. Because I think you guys are going to dig this magazine, the Everything Board Games magazine. Go ahead and click down below link in the description if you want to go ahead and pick this thing up appreciate you guys watching i hope you guys have a great rest of the week